University of Texas athletes are calling for a new alma mater by August. It's one of several proposed campus reforms laid out in a letter on social media today. This comes after weeks of protests nationwide and in Austin against racism and police brutality. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark spoke with a former Longhorn and now NFL player who says talk is cheap and he wants action. The Eyes of Texas is a song Houston Texans defensive end Charles Amenahu wouldn't sing when he played at UT. My sophomore year through my senior year, I knew the meaning of the song, but I never sung it after a game. Written in 1903, the song has racist roots. It was first performed at a minstrel show. It was written as a satirical take on a saying a former UT president used to use, which Texas X's notes he tweaked from a Robert E. Lee quote. The UT website says, embracing the song's meaning today should not stop us from seeing its complicated past. Those things were just very uh, gut-wrenching, uh, very disturbing kind of thing that that's what the university stands on. Replacing the song is among the changes school athletes are calling for to rid the campus of racism. Other requests include renaming several buildings, including Littlefield Hall and the James Hogg Auditorium. The athletes say until the changes are made, they won't participate in recruiting or donor events. I commend these guys that they band together as brothers and found uh, a way that they can make a change. A school spokesperson tells us they'll work with the UT community to create the best possible experience on our campus for black students. A tweet from the athletic director says the department will look forward to having meaningful conversations with the student athletes, but Omenahu, who is behind the athletes 100%, says action is the only acceptable solution. I want them to do what, they, what, was, what was requested. Um, I think the university's talked enough. Um, I think the coaches have talked enough. Earlier this month, UT football players marched in the name of George Floyd, whose death galvanized millions of Americans to call for police reform. There's going to be a percentage of people that say, uh, shut up and dribble, or you're not a politician, you're a football player. Um, but those people are going to be left behind. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. Student athletes at UT are also requesting the university's athletic department donate a half percentage of its earnings to civil rights organizations. Giving some in-depth perspective after the Charleston, South Carolina church shooting, UT took down the statue of Jefferson Davis on campus. It was sent to the Briscoe Center for American History. Two years later, the university took down the remaining Confederate-connected statues following violence in Charlottesville, Virginia. Those statues were part of a donation from George Littlefield. He was a Confederate officer during the Civil War, and he donated a lot of money to the university, including a quarter million dollars to build a fountain on the South Mall that bears his name. The statues were men that Littlefield considered important figures in the history of Texas and the South. This January, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals tossed a lawsuit from the Texas Division of the Sons of Confederate Veterans. They wanted the statues restored. The court said they lacked standing to sue. UT posted an entire interactive web event called the Racial Geography Tour. It is narrated by the Vice Provost for Diversity, Dr. Edmund Gordon. We have a link as part of this story at KXAN.com.